Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. So this is the third video I'm recording at the same time or consecutively. Um, I'm going to be going through a heap load of coins I bought in. A bit random, but uh, let's get into it. Before you do watch the video, if you do like my content, you know, to support me by now, you can do it by liking, commenting and subscribing. Yeah, so I'll start with this one and then I'll go through the other coins. Yeah, let's do these first. These coins here. So... I had a chance conversation with a customer of mine and he's like, oh, I've got three of the uh, PR70 2012 quarter sovereigns. And I was like, okay, like, that's really cool. I was like, they do well. Like I was bidding on an auction and I actually bid on one of these and I said, the price went too high. And he's like, well, you know what? I'll just do them for cost. It's not a problem. And I was like, okay, well, how much does it cost? And he's like, oh, I paid 185 on them a coin. I was like, that's an absolute bargain. You, I'd actually pay you more. But he's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm doing it for 185. I'll keep one and I'll, I'll let you add the other two. And I was like, okay. So I thought about it. I was like, well, actually, if he's going to give me a good deal, you know, I'll, I'll give him something back in return. It's not, it's not a problem my end. You know, I try and look after my own. It's, I've said that before. You know, it's, it's perfectly fine for me to do so. Now. I had an MS64 plus 20 Belgian franc and he dropped me a line prior saying, oh, I've got this, I've got this franc. Um, no, I said, I said to myself, I've got this franc. I value it at 400 pounds. You know, you're giving me a bit of a sweet deal on, on the 2012s. Do you just want to trade it? You know, I, I, I think you'll, you'll do well out of the franc. It's a beautiful coin. It's an overdate as well, so it's a variety. Not that I attribute any more value to that. There are some people who will. You know, not, not for me. I don't understand that type of the market personally. But yeah, so that was that deal. I think we both did pretty well out of it. Now, going back to the auction. So I end up buying six things at the auction. I don't have everything on hand because I've actually sold some of it. But I had a 2.5... Colombian peso, they're like hen's teeth, comes in beautiful condition. That ended up getting sold. This came in. I think I paid 185 on this. So this is a 2016. It does need conserving. It's got slight handling marks, you know. I'll never shy away from that. That becomes a value proposition. What can you buy the coin for? If you get it conserved, is there going to be enough meat on the bone? Now, if this coin here is a one-off design. Why won't it get to the same price as something like this? I actually think this coin is rarer than this one as well. So if I get this conserved and say it hits a 69, you know, I'm quitting. I think I paid 165 on it. 165, get it graded. You know, there's no reason this can't be a 250 coin because these are, you know, these are 70s, but they are 250 plus coins. That's fine. So I got that one in. I had, a, I had a Scottsdale Kilo brick silver coming. I almost spat my coffee out when I won that auction. I put a cheeky bit of 680 in and I thought, eh, I'm not going to get it, but you know, it's fine. Uh, no one else bid. I was like, fine. I got this in. So this is an 1864 Shield Sovereign. I think it's a London Mint. Yep, it is London Mint. Nice coin. It's probably an AU 54 maybe a 53 I might just put this in the long term hold I want to rebuild my shields I'll sell it when the time is right I don't personally think I can get £400 out of it because of the hair I always look at the hair first more so than the shield uh, I always look at the hair because if the hair is worn which it usually is you can't command the higher prices there's also a lot of people on the groups at the moment that tend to be putting shields up for 360, 370 I can't even pay that you know, I don't know where they're getting it from. They might be getting an odd customer come in, they're paying them spot plus, or maybe spot. It depends how generous they want to be. It's none of my concern what they pay, to be frank. So, yep, one shield. That's. I bought this. So, this is a quarter sovereign Tristan de Cujuna uh, and a pre decimalization. There was a slight scratch there. It's on the capsule, not on the coin. I end up selling this for 125 to a customer. So I was going to list it for more, but the more I thought about it, I was like, I paid 105 on it. You know, I was, I was more than happy. I, I just saw value there more due to the grade. 
and I thought the, the design was nice. But I, I quite like the design. If, if the design kind of speaks to me, I don't mind buying. So there's that one. This is a real heart wrencher. So I bought a $1 coin. Looks all right, doesn't it? And then you look at the side. So disappointed. It's underweight as well. It's 1.6 instead of 1.67. I spoke to the auctioneer and they offered a full refund. They just said, send it back. It's not a problem. I said, please check it over. If, if I'm being overzealous and you think I'm wrong, you know, feel free to drop me a line. Personally, it, it the reading for me, it's just a reading. I, so yeah, I was pretty upset because I, I bought it for my collection. I know that's such a trivial thing to get upset about as well, but yeah, I bought it for my collection, and yeah, it just didn't really work out oh i've got some other coins to show you actually oh that's a real treat you guys are they're on the side as well i've yet to take them to my lockup so you guys are in for a real treat i promise you i bought this this is an 1822 sovereign okay it's it's been in some form of jewelry However, I don't think it's got so the reading's correct. It's just a bit a bit bare. That's a shame, you know. Should I grade this? You know, potentially. Now, I saw this, this came up for a steal. Absolute steal. I now have two. I've got two 1822 sovereigns. London buses comes to mind. I don't know how it worked out that way, but yeah. So this one came up for 600 pounds. I thought 600 pounds was a steal. Personally, I think it's a 900 to a thousand pound coin. And even if it's not, it's going in reserve. I would rather sit on it for future Sean because I enjoy stuff like this and some people are going to say, well, that that writes it down and this is crap and this is awful and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, well, they're going to be worth more in a few years. They don't make them anymore. Most of them have been melted down. And the reality is most of them are awful. Is this an awful coin? It could be better. It's not the worst, but it could be better. It's it's very worn on this side, which would suggest it's been in some form of ring. This side's pretty decent. So this side's probably been on the side that isn't showing on the ring, which would explain this and it would also explain this bit so uh yeah it's it's a shame but it is what it is right i bought a set from another dealer i'm still waiting on an invoice not happy about that you know he told me he'd send me an invoice three times he hasn't sent me one i'm going to write one out and i'm not sure i'll deal with him again now let's have a look looks really good from here there are issues with the coin sadly beautiful gouge there i paid 700 pound a coin it doesn't really bother me honestly at 700 pound a coin i can just wait for spot price to go up and if people find an issue with this which some people will because of how heavy the gouge is that's okay and so these are these are testing marks i spoke to the dealer about it and i said look these have got testing marks. He said, I don't think they're testing marks. I was like, they are not bag marks. He said, well, they come straight from the mint. I said, I was like, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining because the price I paid at 700 a coin, the price I paid is ridiculous. I still think with these marks that these were solid 800 pound coin anyway. Now, some people may be saying, ah, Sean, you're crazy, you're overvaluing. I think the market's there to support it. You know, I paid more for, for this coin here. Yes, this has a mark. This coin's probably nicer than the one I have. So 
So I value this around nine to 9.50 by the way. So yeah, this came in. I was over the moon to get this. I was slightly disappointed with the marks. However, at 700 pound a coin, again, I'm, I can't complain. I, I really cannot complain because I think they're top quality coins. So that's that one. Great little set they put out. Right, and last but not least, I bought this. I don't know if I've overpaid, underpaid. I have no idea. I just saw it and thought, <laughs> I really want an, I want an ancient. I've never had an ancient coin before. I think I paid, I think it was 60 pounds I paid. If anyone wants to educate me on this, have I overpaid, have I underpaid? I have no idea. None whatsoever. Silver denarius. I just liked it. I, I saw it and I was like, I don't know what it's worth. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any knowledge on ancient coins or Roman coins. Does Roman encompass ancient? I just don't have the knowledge. I, I don't know. But I saw it, I thought it was quite cute, and I was like, ah, oh, it could be a, a cheap learning experience. Say it's worth £50 or £40 or £30. It doesn't really matter, you know, because I'd enjoy a coin like this. I could just, I can see myself, if, if I have an office, I can see myself framing this and getting some some form of story together or, or something like that, you know. So, yeah. Tell me what you think of the... Uh, copious amounts of coins that i've bought in if you don't like them then that's okay you know i hope you have enjoyed the video if you did please like comment and subscribe bye